Today, I'll be challenging myself to build a drivable Lego Tesla Cybertruck, so that minifigures can finally take a ride around their city. And while well, that's just not going to happen with their current cars. Will this be a success or a failure? Let's find out. I got started by building the chassis, because we first need to figure out how to even get this thing to drive, as official LEGO motors are way too big for this scale. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> but I'll explain my plans for that in a minute. I do also have some criteria for this model, being it needs to go as fast as possible, it needs to fit a minifigure, and it needs to be able to drift. Spoiler alert, I might just check all those boxes in this video. So to make this car drive, I'll be using these tiny motors called circuit cubes. And I think this will be just small enough to fit into Lego cars of this scale. I quickly installed the motors and I immediately geared up the drive shaft to reach the faster speeds. As this is the standard output speed and this is the geared up speed. This thing is quite a bit faster than I expected. I then tried to build a return to center steering mechanism, as those are very useful in remote controlled cars, especially at high speeds. The mechanism works nicely, however, because these motors are so powerful, it doesn't matter how much extra force I create, it just refuses to turn the motor back. So I guess we'll just have to do without it automatically recentering. Now that the chassis is finished, we can finally start building the body of the Cybertruck. Though I have to keep an eye on leaving room for all the internals and routing the wires. To make this car as sturdy as possible, I built the sides using lots of big tiles, and the fenders are built using a bunch of angled modified plates, and the result is pretty solid so far. I then continued with the rear, and funnily enough, the reason that I'm building the Cybertruck is because it is one of the only cars I thought would have a body that could be built around a remote control chassis of this scale, because, well, it's pretty damn massive. I used two of these bar pieces to create a clean looking tail light design and then some more tiles to finish off the shaping of the body panels. Since I was a small kid, I always have been building LEGO cities. And I've also always had the dream of being able to make small enough working LEGO cars that could drive through those cities. So I'm really excited to see if this will work. And just like that, the working LEGO Cybertruck is finished. Now let's test its capabilities by driving it through the city. Here we go, and to be honest, it's a bit tricky to navigate through some of the small streets of the city, but once I got the hang of it, it was so much fun. And I might even have made it a tiny bit too fast for city driving. Now let's move on to the final challenge, which is making this thing capable of drifting. So I removed the rubber tires and replaced them with these Technic rims at the rear and these thin tires at the front. I further added some extra gears to let the wheels spin even faster, and well the result is really awesome. It doesn't go as fast as before because of the loss of grip, however that does result in it being relatively controllable. It's actually so much fun to just endlessly let this thing slide around. <laughs> well I achieved all the criteria I set for this model, so I think I can call it a success. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.